Hi, I'm Chuck McGregor, and welcome to the next Rally Point series video. I'm really pumped up to show you what Parsons veterans are doing, both in Parsons as well as in the community. Um, today, we're joined by Shaylin Layton, and Shaylin graduated from Every Riddle University. She's a captain in the Army Reserves and a cyber operations officer. Uh, prior to this role, she was an intel officer with PACOM, and I'm just very super excited to have you here. From Seattle, Washington, Shaylin, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Chuck. Yeah, it's awesome to have you here. Um, it was great serving with you in the security team, and I've just been really excited about bringing you in and just talking about your career and uh, the things that you're involved with on the outside. So I always like to start these off by asking, hey, where are you from? Where'd you, you know, where'd you grow up? Who are some of the early influencers in your life? And what brought you to the Army? What brought you to military service, Shaylin? Sure, yeah. So like you said, I'm from Seattle, Washington. Um, back in the day when I was evaluating going to school uh, and I was looking for universities, Embry-Riddle uh, proposed the option to join ROT ROTC, and I thought that sounded really interesting. So I looked into the program a little more and applied for a scholarship. I ended up getting a four-year scholarship uh, and I did Army training all throughout college. When I graduated, I earned my commission uh, and my college degree at the same time. So I immediately went into being a military intelligence officer for the Army Reserve. And my first uh, duty was up at PACOM. I was supporting the Joint Intelligence Operations Center there. How did your career in Intel uh, help, help segue into cyber? How did that transition take place? Sure, so I was doing really interesting work. Obviously, uh, the Indo-PACOM area of operations is of high sensitivity right now, given all the international actors that are there, like North Korea and China. And uh, the longer I spent up at PACOM, the more I realized how critical cyber was to the future defense of our nation, and I got really interested in it. Uh, that, in turn, drove me to apply for what the Army calls a branch transfer uh, to be a cyber operations officer. I found out I was selected and then the Army sent me to nine months of intensive cyber training at Fort Gordon, Georgia. So one quick note about Fort Gordon, Georgia. Parsons has an incredible schoolhouse support contract out there. Really proud of that relationship that we have out there. Shout out to Thomas Barnes. Thanks for all the good work you're doing, who, by the way, is also one of our biggest business or executive sponsors for DOD SkillBridge uh, fellows here at Parsons too. So great work going on out there at Fort Gordon. Going from Army Cyber over into the into corporate America, how did that transition go? And any lessons learned on how, how other veterans that are making the transition should um, approach that? Yeah, sure. So. Prior to uh, making that branch transfer in the Army to cyber, I was also working as a civilian intel analyst, so I had a totally different career. Uh, and once I got trained up in cyber and I decided I really wanted to make cyber not only my military career focus, but also my civilian career focus, I started applying for new jobs. The greatest thing that you know i realized that i brought to the table was despite not having a strong background in cyber i had a very strong background in understanding leadership and you know when i did end up joining parsons i was able to bring all of these skills that i had developed through the military as a leader to the table here and share that with my current team oh that's incredible shaylin thanks for that so shaylin you're involved in a in, a, in several different causes both to bring STEM careers uh, to, to women, um, reaching out and getting people engaged in the Army Reserve and uh, helping veterans make the transition from uh, higher education into corporate America. Can you tell me about those organizations and those efforts? Because it's really impressive. Yeah, sure. So I work closely with the Army Reserve uh, to bring awareness to women in cyber specifically. I've worked with a couple different outreach programs targeting high school seniors as they look uh, to their futures and try to decide what they wanna do with the rest of their lives. I've had the pleasure 
of uh, speaking with many young people about the opportunities that not only the Army uh, offers them, but you know, a potential career in STEM could also offer them. I'm particularly very passionate about trying to encourage young women to pursue careers in STEM. Um, I've also worked with the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs Boots to Suits program, which is aimed at uh, connecting military veterans and current corporate professionals. Uh, these uh, vets are coming out of long careers in the military, sometimes 20 plus years, and now they're looking to transition to the corporate sector. So uh, as their mentor, so to speak, you know, I sit down with them. Uh, we have conversations about what it's like to work in a corporate environment, how to interview, um, you know, how to ask for fair compensation, things that you don't normally have to to deal with in the military world. So that's been very rewarding, uh, and I have really cherished the opportunity to, you know, not only learn from the vets that I work with, but to be able to provide something back to the veteran community. So Shaylin, on that note, um, I've really found that being engaged in veteran transition assistance is super rewarding. And uh, one of the areas where we focus is, is being able to translate those military skills to corporate America. And really, it's just a matter of talking through it, rehearsing, and, and showing veterans exactly how those skill sets and those experience sets, if you will, uh, correlate to corporate America. So I bet that's pretty, that, that's a, a frequent conversation that you have in the, in the, um, SUS program, would you say? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, a lot of military vets doubt themselves coming out of the military, even if they're making a major career change, right? Say you're going into a totally different sector or field than you worked in in the military. That can be uh, very daunting, you know, but having gone through it myself, what I encourage people is don't sell yourself short. You have skills that a lot of the civilian world or, you know, civilian employee world, they don't have, you know, so leverage that grit uh, that you learned through the military, uh, leverage some of the more soft skills that you've learned through the military and your confidence in order to perform well. Love it, Shaylin. Shaylin, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. I'm inspired and I hope other people are as well. Your story is incredible and it's just beginning. And thanks for all you do uh, to support Parsons and our customers and what you do in the military. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye-bye.